Yo, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy Kareem Supreme. Check this out. Just walking through the park on this beautiful fall, light rainy day. Yeah, I just want to talk about the 35th anniversary of what? NWA and the Posse. It's a beautiful fall day. Look at those leaves. Let me see. What's somebody do? They made a leaf maze. What is this? A leaf maze? Let me see. I think it is. Look. This is a leaf maze. You walk through here. You go around. Let me see. Hey, this is a leaf maze. This is cool. Oh, okay. This is nice. A leaf maze into a little. This is like a leaf clubhouse. Let me show y'all. Yeah. There's a walkway that goes all around. And then you come out into this. Come into this clubhouse. Oh, that's cool. Kids will love it. I'm glad no ghetto kids come over here because they would have been tore down. But anyway, yeah, I want to talk about <clears throat> NWA and the Posse. Man, I got fall allergies real bad. My sinuses are stuffed up. Yeah. Let me go chill in this gazebo. Yeah. That's a beautiful fall day. Yep. Yeah, that leaf maze was cool. Oh, yeah. Check this out. But anyway, I remember um, I remember when I first heard of N.W.A. The first song that I ever heard of was uh, was Dope Man. Yeah, I can't see it. It's kind of, excuse me, it's kind of blurry. Dope Man. I remember when I was in, I think I was in second grade. This came out November, on this day in 1987, back in November of 1987. But Dope Man was out that summer. And I remember um, a lot of people was playing it. Dope Man, Dope Man, yeah, that's me. Dope Man, Dope, can I get a G? Um, a lot of people was playing it. Every passing car, every, every garage party I went to or walked by, I was young. Every garage party I walked by, people was blasting this. You know, and um, didn't know who, who sung it. But um, <clears throat> I remember when I went to the rec center in the summer of 87, some Puerto Ricans was singing it. Dope, man. Dope. So I asked this one Puerto Rican dude, I said, who sang that? He was like, um, I don't know. He said he didn't know. So I figured he was just like me. He heard everybody else singing it and he heard passing cars playing it and parties, you know, blasting it. But um. Further down the line, I heard more Puerto Ricans singing it. And come to find out, this guy right here on the front, let me see if I can make this, let me see if I can make it non-blurry. Damn, this shit is blurry. That guy right there with the hat, a lot of people thought, a lot of people thought he was a white guy. That dude right there, he's, he's, he's a Hispanic, he's Mexican. His name is Crazy D. And Crazy D rapped on Dope Man. Yo, Mr. Dope Man, you think you're slick. You sold crack to my sister, and now she's sick. But if she happens to die because of your drug, I'm putting in your culo a 38 slug. And a lot of Puerto Ricans used to sing that one part. You know? So I, I kind of figured it was a... I, I knew it was a black group, but I thought they just had a Puerto Rican in it. You know, second grader, you know. Yeah, that's what I was, That's what I was thinking. You know, come to find out that it was N.W.A. And then N.W.A. stood for niggas with attitudes. But I didn't find that out until Straight Outta Compton came out like a year later. But this album right here was an introduction. It was like a compilation album. It was an introduction to, you know, what was yet to come. You know, on the front cover, you had Crazy D. You got Arabian Prince right there. You got Ice Cube. You got Dr. Dre. Man, this is blurry. Then you got Easy E right there. 
You got MC Ren. You got uh, DJ Train RIP. You got Candyman on here. That's Candyman right there. He was a one-hit wonder. And then you got Sir Jinx up here in the far corner. And um, I'm surprised DOC ain't on here. But uh, anyway, you got a few other people on here, but I always found it weird how the late, you know, the, the A blocked out certain people and this uh, this uh, label right here blocked out. I think that was Dr. Rock. I don't know. Couldn't tell. Couldn't tell you. But anyway, yeah. One of my favorite tracks off this album was, of course, Boys in the Hood. Now, this was another banger back in 87, 88. Really, 88. You know, that was um, Easy es first song by himself. Then he had other songs called I Got a Fat Girl on My Jock. But another song that was popular on this album was Panic Zone. And that was by the Arabian Prince, who's right there. Arabian Prince was on the Straight Out album <clears throat> album cover. Straight out of Compton the album cover, sorry. <clears throat> but Ice Cube said Ara Ice Cube said Arabian Prince quit the day after they, they shot that album cover. But um yeah, a lot of people think Ice Cube was the first to leave NWA, but actually it was Arabian Prince. You know, he saw he saw it coming way before Ice Cube did. And um before he joined the group, he was a solo artist. And like I said, that song Panic Zone was just primarily him with a little bit of Dr. Dre, you know, doing vocals. But um, it was mainly Arabian Prince by himself. And Dr. Dre said a few few lines. He he produced it, but, you know, Arabian Prince went on to uh, release an album called Brother Arab, and she's got a big posse. And, you know, after that, he kind of disappeared. I think he got into uh, more production and more artwork, you know, and... He made more money doing that than he did rapping. So a lot of people thought he fell off when he didn't. He just played the background. But, um, yeah, uh, this is the first time you ever heard D.O.C. He was he was down with this crew called the Feel I Fresh crew, and they had Dunk the Funk. And I think after this, uh, D.O.C. had a song called um, I Hate to Go to Work or something like that. It's not on this album, but it was – I think it was a little bit after this N.W.A. and the Posse album. Oh, I hate to go to work. Yeah, I feel the same way after all these years. You know, it took me till I started working to understand what D.O.C. was talking about. But um, also D.O.C. was on here. He was on a lot of these. He was he was the most uh, featured um, rapper on this on this compilation album. He was on one. Let me see. One. Two. Three. Four tracks, and then he wrote a lot of he wrote a lot of tracks too. I think he wrote a lot of Easy E's verses, if I'm not mistaken. Him and Ice Cube, but yeah, um, Drink It Up Baby was one of my favorite. It, it, one of those tracks that got stuck in your head. One of those choruses you can't get out of your head. Drink it up, baby. And this is the original CD from 1989, y'all. This CD came out in '89. And uh, it's still in pretty good condition. A little scratches, but hey, it still play. For a minute, I forgot I had it. Yeah, um, this is a classic introduction to Straight Outta Compton, which blew everybody's mind. But uh, a lot of people said they didn't like this N.W.A. and the Posse album, but I loved it because I heard it before Straight Outta Compton. You know, it's like saying you didn't like the Atari 2600, but you love the Nintendo NES. You know, if you never played the Atari 2600, and of course, you're going to love the NES because that's what, that's your genesis. That's where you started. But, you know, I started listening to this, loved it. And then when Straight Outta Compton came out and Niggas for Life came out, it just blew me away. It took me to, it took me to a whole nother world. But um, y'all got to add this to y'all collection. It is, it is definitely a West Coast classic. You know, um, I'm surprised Yellow wasn't on here. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. But a guy on YouTube, um, I forgot his name. He, 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 he does movie locations, and he did a video location of NWA's Express Yourself. And he also did 
um, a video on where this album cover was shot. It was shot like in the parking lot across the street from either Ruthless Records office or Macola Records office. I can't remember, but um, I forgot the guy's name. Y'all check him out on YouTube. Just look up the Express Yourself video location and check up check out some of his other videos. He did he did something on Stessasonic too. I mean not Stessasonic, Supersonic. Uh, JJ Fad. Check it out, y'all. This your boy Kareem Spring. I'm about to get back to enjoying this beautiful fall day. I'm gonna go check out this leaf maze again. My car is way over there. Yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful day. Check out, check out everybody's beautiful pumpkin decoration. I love fall. Fall is my favorite season. Yeah, check this out, y'all. Yeah, this is nice. People walking their dogs, walking through the park, minding their own business. Yeah, it's a beautiful neighborhood. Look at, look at this beautiful foliage. All right, y'all. I'm about to go order some thin, thin, thin crust pizza from Salvatore's. Check it out. NWA and the Posse, P.